Hey, I'm Jake Solomon. I am the lead designer of XCOM Enemy Unknown, and today I'm going to give you a glimpse of some of the later game aliens you'll be facing off against in XCOM. So as the invasion wears on, the aliens, they are going to get more aggressive. They're going to start targeting cities around the world and the innocent civilians who live there. They're going to unleash horrors on the people of Earth unlike anything we've ever seen. Of course, as the leader of XCOM, it is going to fall to you to defend all of us. Now, XCOM is not like other games in the sense that in XCOM your soldiers are vulnerable, they can definitely die. And to prove that point, we are joining a squad already in progress, a squad of rookies that is already hurt, they're low on ammo, they are scared. Any one of those things in XCOM can get you killed. We're going to take our last rookie here, move him up into cover and then hunker down and try to wait this thing out. Now unfortunately what you hear there is the call of the chrysalid. And of course we brought back the chrysalid, one of the most feared enemies in all of games from the original XCOM. Uh, and we get lucky here, uh, take one of them out, uh, but our second soldier not quite so lucky. Suffers a fate worse than death, which will become clear in just a second. A heavy floater appears. An incredibly powerful flying unit from late game. Far overmatching the rookies we brought. Kills them in one shot. And of course, to make things interesting, uh, a berserker appears, and beside him, a sectoid commander who, among other things, has the ability to take control of our units and make them do horrible things. In this case, they can kill themselves with their own grenade. Our final rookie here. Wisely panicking and uh, calling for help. Permission to send in the Reaper squad. Now, to face off against these late game aliens, we need the world's best. And so we're bringing XCOM late game soldiers with all of their different powerful abilities. One class we haven't shown much of, the Psionics class, where they use their mind as a weapon. And, uh, who has the bigger mind than Sid Meier himself? He's going to lead our, our Reaper squad here. Now remember the rookie that was attacked by the chrysalid, you can see what that does. Chrysalid bites zombify soldiers, and if you don't kill them in time, then they spawn into new chrysalids. Lovely. The only way to fight chrysalids really is to uh, stay where they can't reach you, and so for that reason we're going to send in our Archangel soldier, who is uh, wearing the jetpack armor fly about two stories up and take out the chrysalids from afar. Now this is a completely leveled up sniper, so he has the double tap ability which allows him to move and shoot multiple times in a single turn. Now we can send in Sid, and the psionic soldier, like the sectoid commander, has an array of mental powers and here we are going to take control if we can of this heavy floater at this point we could make him do whatever we want but uh, what we're gonna make him do is sort of turn the tables and make him eat his own grenade Finally, we have our leveled up assault soldier, and she is wearing the ghost suit. 
gives her incredible mobility as you can see she can run all over the battlefield and it grants her limited invisibility which is nice when you need to get close to the big tough deadly aliens the suit also has an integrated grapple which we're going to use uh, to get it to the roof quickly and that puts us in range for a shot with our alloy cannon and that'll take out this preserver so we have made short work uh, of the aliens but in XCOM uh, the battle is never quite over now Sid has all of the troops gathered up to face off together against one last big threat Obviously, we are going to need all of our firepower to face off against this. And we'll end it there. Thanks for watching, everyone.